You're watching News 3 at 6 on KBTX. The Texas A&M Center for Coffee Research and Education was recently named to the list of top 20 graduate research centers that are making a real difference. This list consisted of graduate research centers that benefit the community at large. Joining us today is Eric Brenner, the Assistant Director of the Center for Coffee Research. Eric, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for the invitation. It's a great honor. Well, we wanted to start off. Can you talk a little bit about being named to a list like this and what does it mean to you and to the other students and, and to the university? Absolutely. So it's super exciting. Actually, I was not aware that we were named until your producer, Catherine, sent me an email. <laughs> and I was in Costa Rica when that happened. So I, I emailed her back and said, look, I'm, I'm in Costa Rica right now with a study abroad, specifically in coffee, the first of its kind. And so I said, as soon as I go back, I'll be more than happy to meet with you and, and have an interview. So congrat well, congratulations on this. Um, explain to our viewers, you were in Costa Rica. You took some of the students with you. What are you, what are you doing down there? What are you learning uh, down there, which is your home, by the way? Yes, I'm originally from Costa Rica. So, so basically, one of the things that, in addition for us to help the coffee farmers and coffee pickers, one of the things that we want to do is to bring the coffee knowledge to the mainstream. And one of the things that we're working on is to bring this knowledge to the university. So we're in the process of uh, working in some new coffee classes. They're actually credit classes for um, hopefully a minor in the future. Mm. And this class happens to be one of the first ones. There's another class that we have at the university, but this is the first study abroad that does coffee visits to coffee processing, to go to the plantations and kind of learn how coffee is processed and give the students the opportunity to actually see it. So why, why Costa Rica? What, what's happening there that you can bring down back to here? Uh, I think the, the professor that I work with, uh, Nadab Mayer, who is the faculty who is leading this, because I'm from Costa Rica, it probably made it easier for us to explore the areas that we could visit. Gotcha. You know, it's very close to the States, a three hour uh, trip on a plane, and the fact that we knew a lot of people that work in coffee was an easier place to go. You mentioned farmers. Can you talk more about the role that you guys play in helping coffee farmers and talking about kind of that relationship? Yeah, absolutely. So in, in Central America specifically, there's three threats that the coffee farmers have to deal with. Low coffee prices, uh, climate change, and coffee diseases. So our role as the center is to work with these coffee farmers for to, to do trainings to help them uh, do better agriculture techniques uh, to introduce genetic material that is more resistant to climate change, like coffee leaf rusts, that is affected by climate change and other diseases. And so our role is to go into these countries and work with the farmers to do training sessions and to do projects. We actually just finished one in Central America about three years ago, working with El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. And our job was to introduce a hybrid that was resistant to changes in climate change and also resistant to coffee leaf rust, and it produced a coffee quality that sells for a higher price. Let me ask you this because A&M is known for so many great things, the agriculture uh, arm of it, then, then you have uh, the engineering. I mean, there's so many layers to Texas A&M. And then I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised that we have this, this whole coffee research center as well. For, for folks that are watching at home and for coffee lovers like K Katie and I, what, what, what is the benefit of A&M pouring their resources and, and money into it, a research center like yours? Well, one of the things, number one, is that coffee needs a lot of research and development. We, we, need, we tend to think that coffee, when you want, want to work in coffee, it's as a barista. But the reality is that from mountaintop all the way to the tabletop, there's a huge link that creates the value chain of coffee. There's uh, engineering, there's genetic, uh, there's horticulture expert, ag experts, there's economics, imports, exports. And the way climate change is going, we're gonna need the new generations of experts to help us maintain uh, coffee in the future, to, to make sure that everybody has coffee to drink in the next couple of years, in the next a, a long process before it gets to Starbucks. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. um, congratulations. You, you guys are doing an amazing job there. Well, thank you, yes. we, we just wanted to give a couple of minutes to our viewers on, on everything that, that you're working on. And, um, and it's exciting to see where this goes. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming in. Thank we you. appreciate it. Pleasure to thank you. you. We're going to be back right after this.